You're watching Bears Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham, and it is mailbag time on today's show. Answering all your questions, whatever questions you got. If you super chat, you can jump the line. Otherwise, use hashtag Bears. Santos Moreno, young Packer receivers will have trouble protecting do football. Duh football. Okay, I see what you're saying. Look, those receivers don't look good. Christian Watson ran a double move, got behind Patrick Peterson in the opener, just dropped the football. That's why I hated him coming out because he can't catch. If he learns how to catch, he'll be a good player, but he's he had the like 12% drop rate in college. Horrible numbers. I mean, 5% is like average, and he was at 12. Just really, really bad. Um, Stonehands and uh, these other receivers, Romeo Dobbs, he's got a chance to be good, but like Sammy Watkins, we'll see if Lazard's back, but – yeah, that this receiving core doesn't really scare me. We'll see what happens Sunday, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not a great group right now up in Green Bay. Sean Spates, appreciate the five dollar super chat. Mark Jennis, uh, DK uh, giving the Bears uh, ten points is that disrespect? Oh, DraftKings. Yeah, I mean I've seen nine, nine and a half, ten. I mean, you know, I, I will say this: Aaron Rodgers off a loss, really good track record. Um, they don't lose two in a row very often. It's a road game. It's prime time. And the history of this head-to-head -head matchup over the last five or six years, if not longer, favors Green Bay. I do think 10's too high. Um, seven and a half last week was a joke. But I understand the Packers being a healthy favorite in this game. I do. Now, I do think the Bears have a chance. I do. But the Bears are also playing with house money. All they needed to do was split these first two games. So now, you go into this game like, boom, let's win this one. We get to 2-0 and oh somehow, we're off to the races. Let's go. Bob's Burger, what are some players to watch against the Packers this week? Um, here's some guys that I am keeping an eye on. I mean, it's going to be Justin Fields every single week uh, for obvious reasons. And hopefully if the weather is fairly normal this week, let's see how he plays in a normal environment in terms of weather conditions. Obviously, last week is hard to make a huge determination in terms of his actual play. I thought he battled. I thought he played a good second half, but obviously the weather was brutal. Uh, Darnell Mooney, one catch, eight yards in week one. Again, the weather played a role, but I want to see a bigger game out of him. Same with David Montgomery, who was limited to one and a half yards per carry. Can Dominique Robinson repeat his week one performance one and a half sacks seven tackles let's see let's see how much playing time he gets and then Robert Quinn uh Quinn played fine didn't play in the preseason but uh didn't get a ton of pressure in week one let's see how he performs here in week two it's Packers hate week every show this week we're typing FGB let's go get it spammed down in the comment section FGB 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 and get your FGB shirts right now chatsports.com slash F GB. If you're watching live on Tuesday, if you get the advanced shipping, you should be able to get it before Sunday. But even if you don't, this is the motto for the Chicago Bears, and they play the Packers again. So you'll have your shirt in plenty of time for the second matchup later this season. Pick it up today, chatsports.com slash FGB. All right, T-Fly Chicago to Long Beach. The Bears are for real. Fields, three TDs, don't believe after. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it done. More Super Chats coming in. Clint Wilson, I want to see the Bears in a dogfight against those Green Bay Pigs. Uh, yes, not uh, – what does that say? Uh, I don't know what's going on. The win and put the league on notice. Um, Yeah, I mean, look, I would love for this to be a back-and-forth tough game and the uh, Bears to pull it out. If they can – play against a good Green Bay team, Rodgers play well, and still find a way to win it late, that would be pretty exciting. That would put the league on notice at this point. Lucas Prang, do you think the Bears have a good chance of beating the Packers, or are we still high off the 49ers win? I mean, both could be true. You could be high off this win and still have a chance to beat Green Bay. I think the chances are lesser than they were last week, but you won last week, so there's absolutely a chance. There's absolutely a chance to win this game, so... Let's do it. It's, you got to prove it. You got to prove it. At least have a chance in the fourth quarter. Too many times in the Matt Nagy era, this game was done after three quarters. Get into the fourth with the chance on the road in prime time. That's all you can really ask for. Bet US, the place to go to bet on this game and all Bears games all season long. Go to our link below, chatsports.com slash bears. Promo code BEARDOWN to get 125% deposit bonus. Put down 100 bucks. 
get 125 for free. Uh, extra money to gamble on during the NFL and college football season. Here are some betting odds from this matchup early on. Man, that line keeps shifting toward Green Bay, doesn't it? 10 point favorites are the Packers. The over under set at 43. I'll be curious to see. Last week, over under er, uh, was about uh, 40 at kickoff, 39 because of the weather. Uh, we'll see. I could see the over hitting here maybe. Chatsports.com uh, uh, slash bears. That's the wrong link at the bottom. Chatsports.com slash bears. Let's get that on screen uh, real quick here. Uh, promo code is bear down. All right, Pashi, confidence in the Bears secondary. Uh -huh. Vilder? Vilder didn't play great in the opener, I will say. Got burned on that deep crosser. Um, but I like the rest of the secondary. Jalen Johnson, he wasn't even uh, targeted in week one. He's locked down right now. Peanut punch as well. Uh, I like Brisker and Jackson at safety. Kyler Gordon got beat a couple times, but I think he's going to continue to get better. Builder's probably the guy to watch. Uh, do the Packers try to attack him? Well, they can't do it with Devontae Adams. He's not around, so... We'll see. I actually think uh, this is a game where Vilder could make some plays. So uh, definitely something to watch. Uh, but uh, those Packers receivers don't exactly uh, terrify me at this point in time. Appreciate the question, Pashi. Uh, we'll keep it moving here. Hashtag Bears or Super Chat uh, to get your questions on the show. Sangray Kim, your evaluation of Braxton. What do people say? Um... Mixed bag. I thought he, he responded well, gave up the sack to Bosa. I figured Bosa would give get him once, but I think overall he, he did pretty well. I mean, first start, weather's tough. You're going up against one of the best pass rushers in the league. Um, Pretty well, pretty well overall. Didn't grade out as well as Jenkins or Borum, but those guys didn't go up against Bosa as often either. I think Braxton Jones uh, continues to answer the bell and continues to, to, to show that uh, he can be a player in this league. Kit Stanford, I have no doubt that the Bears will beat the Packers. FGB, team going 11-6. and six. Hashtag bold prediction. 11-6 and six would be dope. That, that might have a chance to win the division this year. So let's go, FGB, baby. Frank Sinatra, hashtag Bears, a great musician. Did Kyler Gordon or Jaquan Brisker play better? I thought Brisker was a bit better. Um, they both uh, had really good moments. They both... Uh, you know, had a not great moments. Brisker missed one or two tackles. Gordon got beat a couple times. He uh, he tackled really well, though, in the run game and run support. Um, they're going to continue to get better and better. I thought both played really well in the second half. Mandalay Kleiss, uh, if the defense plays like this uh, this week, uh, what are the chances we went over the fudge Packers? Look, if the defense plays well, similar to what they played in week one, again, with the weather, it's hard to know how well everyone played, but... Uh, if they play pretty well, they've got a good shot. Come down, comes down to the offense. How many plays can Fields and the boys make? We'll have to wait and see. But if they play well, let's say they hold the Packers to 24 points or less, that'll give you a chance. That'll give you a chance to win. Fill in the blank. Always a fun game, right? Aaron Rodgers is a blank. Don't hold back. I'll be reading the comments. Fill in the blank for me. Aaron Rodgers is a blank. He's a fraud. He's a loony. He's a douche. Whatever. Fill in the blank. Aaron Rodgers is a blank. All right. Hit that subscribe button here on Bears Now. YouTube.com slash Bears Now. The latest Bears news and rumors coming at you every single day. Plus, game previews, live watch parties, live shows every Tuesday. We got you covered. Hit that sub button. Got time for a few more here. Danger says, I think having Thomas Graham on the practice squad in the first place was a mistake. Thoughts? I mean, he was hurt, and they made that decision. So time will tell, Danger. That's what I would say. Uh, I would have kept him over someone like Jalen Jones, but the Bears clearly uh, uh, thought differently. So listen, you miss all of training camp. Uh, you were a guy that was a fringe roster guy a year ago. It's a new regime. It's not going to go well for you. That's, And I think that's how that played out. So it is what it is. Little Monty, I liked how the Bears were way more disciplined and conditioned come, uh, compared to last week. Uh, FGBFA, or compared to last year, last week is what he said. Yeah, I mean, look, they were prepared. The adjustments, I think that's the key. Uh, the coaching staff made clear adjustments at halftime. Khalil Herbert talked about that. Uh, yeah, this coaching staff is competent. <laughs> and uh, they're just, it's clearly better than it was before. So that's, uh, that's a good sign, especially when some weeks uh, you're going to be uh, overmatched in talent. Uh, but uh, when you have coaching that makes a difference, it really helps. 
Got Sal with the super chat. Appreciate all the super chats, guys. You guys have been great. Bears need to get another corner. Don't trust Builder. Yeah, let's see how this week goes and then uh, reevaluate after that. Uh, you know, Builder, clearly this regime liked him enough uh, to make him a part of this secondary this year. Uh, but I do think that's probably the weakest link on the defense right now is that second outside corner spot when you're in nickel uh, and Gordon's in the slot and Builder's outside. That's, that's the place to attack if you're opposing quarterbacks. Clint Wilson, what is a Packer anyway? Only one I know is FedEx. It's good stuff, Clint. Good stuff. Who knows? Who knows? I like cheese, but I don't know. I don't know what a Packer is. The Gabe, your thoughts on Jackson Smith and Jigba? Love him. Would draft him. He'd be great here. Really good prospect. Smooth. Good after the catch. Great route runner. Um, his Rose Bowl game last year was unbelievable. One of the greatest single game uh, performances I've ever seen from a college football wide receiver. So special talent really is. Appreciate all your questions. If we didn't get to your questions, you can uh, hit me up on social media, Twitter and Instagram at HGramNFL. Same handle, both platforms at HGramNFL. It's at HGramNFL.